Today on Grantham, what feels legal, but isn't illegal? Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be talking about 9mm. Is it effective? Can it kill anything? You know, if we're to believe FUDs out there, 45 is the only caliber capable of killing people. So today, we'll be investigating those claims. But before we do, if you've ever missed a target with any round because you didn't train, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is out of control. I will do nothing to control you. Now, Brownells is our biggest sponsor. A big thank you to them. Thank you, Brownells. Very base. And of course, the only sponsor we could get to sponsor this video, Raid Shadow Legend. Somewhere out there, there's a private sitting at the railway at NTC. And you know what you need? Raid Shadow <laughs> Legends. And we want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Now, it is a pretty sick game, actually, with tons of bosses, a huge world to explore. And you know what? It's pretty badass if you need to have a fun little game to play. You know, low-key, a lot of people meme on Raid Shadow Legends, but it's actually a pretty badass game, right, Micah? No, it's not bad. It's actually not that bad. I finally gave in, and, and yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, it's actually good. That, that's the funny part, is there's so many ads about it, and you're like, oh, is it really that good? Actually, it's, it's a hell of fun. There's tons of stuff to, get, to do, and I'll tell you about a couple things that I really like about it. Number one, I like fucking up my boys in PvP. Number two, Hanging with the boys, building out a team for a dungeon or some type of raid. Those are good times right there. Now, there's a lot of stuff to do in it. The point is, you have to make it your own. Get in there, try it out, because you know what? They're sponsoring this video, it's hella cool, and the game's actually fun. So I know there's a bunch of ads about it, but you know what? Check out Raid Shadow Legends, it's actually a pretty cool game. Now, there has seriously never been a better time to get into Raid Shadow Legends. So get down now, hit the link, scan the QR code, and you're gonna get a couple cool prizes. You can get an Epic Champion, 200k silver, one energy refill and one XP boost, and one ancient shard. You can summon your champions as soon as you get in the game. All this and more is waiting for you. All you have to do is put down in the description. Big thank you to them. Get in there, check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, my often forgotten, but most certainly not by me. Spear Gold Dots, welcome to the channel. Today we have a very interesting video for you. So, we're gonna be talking about different nine millimeter calibers and how do they perform? Excuse me, so we have a couple different rounds right here. So we have as our base, a M882 ball, which is a actual military round. And this is actual military ammunition. It is a 124 grain round. That is plus P, that means it's going very fast. Okay, we have our horny, excuse, horny, horny, excuse me, hornity critical defense. We have, the classic, we have Spear Gold Dot, as you can see it right here. Um, this is a tried and true performer. We, of course, have Federal HST right here. They changed the box multiple times, very confusing. Again, another very good performer. And then finally, we have a newcomer, well, relative newcomer, that has been making some really good ammunition, and also a ammunition sponsor. Big thank you to them, Norma. They kick hella ass. We have their MHPs which is a monolithic hollow point, and those perform very well. So we'll be testing all these from the baseline of the M882 to see how they perform. Now, to test these, we'll be using a ballistic dummy from Ballistic Dummy Labs. Charlie! Charlie, why do you have a rake? Will you tell us a little bit about the ballistic dummy? So this is our ballistic dumb dummy, Kev. Be don't name him. This motherfucker is built like a bowl of milk. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, we're gonna see if he dies. Good, so the ballistic dummies are very... What the fuck's your problem? There's a spider hanging off my hat, dude. You know I hate, <laughs> you know I hate spiders, dude. I'm sorry. Bro, what the fuck? We're filming. Oh my god, bro, it was here. It's a little spider, dude. Fuck! That scared the fuck out of me, dude. Jesus Christ. We have a ballistic dummy labs dummy right here. Now these are really interesting. If you wanna come here and take a look at them. So we do use ballistic gelatin, which is an approximation of human fat and muscle. So it's not quite a one-to-one, -one, but with the addition of bone structures as well as organs, 
that give you the relative resistance that you should have from rounds, we do have a really interesting representation. Now, it should be noted that with any of these rounds, the typical FBI standard for a round is to travel at least 12 inches in ballistic gelatin. Because of the depth of this dummy right here, we're probably gonna have a little bit of what would be considered over penetration. You have to understand that these are approximations, so it's not gonna be a one-to-one, -one, but nonetheless, we will get some really interesting evidence out of using these dummies. And you know, what is my science experience? Well, uh, I failed med school, and that makes me a doctor in New Jersey. Uh, Charlie here, what's it called when somebody's training to be a doctor, Micah? Uh, a squire. So he's like a medical squire. Um, he's training up for it. Charlie, do you? Uh, I, almost, I almost got through high school pretty good. Um, other than that, just in the process of learning anything medical, I took a stop the squeeze class, and I feel like I'm ready to fix old Kev here. Yeah, you get seriously. Right. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and we're going to start with the M882 because, as always, talk is cheap. Ammunition is very, very expensive right now. Now, before we do, should be noted, we also have a very high speed camera right here um, that will be filming at very high frame rates, which would be cool because we'll get a lot of science shit. Frame rates. Yeah, high speed frame yeah. rates. I, I don't know. So, to do these tests, we're going to be using a service handgun. We have a Glock 17 right here. Um, it's a full-size handgun. There's really not a whole lot of difference. We're not going to use subcompacts. We're not doing that today. Maybe later, but for now, full-size handgun. Uh, Charlie, can you show your Glock really quick? Oh, yeah. As a backup, we have uh, Charlie's Glock, which is pretty cool. It's a great gun. I really appreciate it. We have a Glock 34, I believe. Any case, so what we'll do is we're going to load up our M882 ball, and we're going to do our very first test right here. And as always, science will be our muse and we're gonna see what happens. We'll be shooting at seven yards right here. With each round, we're gonna do one in the gut, one in the chest and uh, trying it out. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We have two ballistic dummies, so enough for all the rounds that we're gonna be testing. And uh, I can't think of anything else, Mike. Are we ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. All right, let's go ahead and let's do it. First round up. All right, one round of M882 is out. Let's see what happened. Charlie, get in there. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. This is a, okay, 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 clear it. How interesting. So, look at that, come look at this, Micah. So, we can see the entrance wound. Obviously, M882 is a ball round, so it's just gonna smoke straight through. Good shot on my, hold on. Oh my God, okay, so we put up a, uh, we put up a, a cardboard target behind to catch any type of, and it was a straight through. In fact, I could see that round impact behind. And what's actually pretty cool as well, is you can see a bunch of the pieces of gelatin that have pulled with it onto the target right there. It, it's not really much, man. So you, you can see the exit right there. Yeah. The thing about this is that First off, it, it is ballistic gel, so right? So of course we're gonna have um, over penetration on this guy. It's not very thick. Maybe we need like a fat one. But uh, that's exactly what you'd expect from an M882. Geneva conventions, Geneva suggestions, we can't use expanding ammunition. So there you, yeah, right? There you have it. Now what's gonna be really interesting, I think, Charlie, what do you think is gonna happen with the M882 through the chest? Dude, that dude's dead for sure. So I know that just regular bullets hurt, so whatever the M882 is, it's probably gonna hurt too. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's good. I think what's gonna be cool about the M882 is that we're gonna have it probably smoke straight through the bone better. What do you think, Micah? Yeah, man, um, that, I think it won't go out the back. You don't think so? Wait, what is it, what we're shooting? M882, the, the military ball oh, around. Oh, my, I, I, don't, I don't listen to you very much, so yeah, no, that's going straight <laughs> Yeah, things going straight through. Yeah. I agree. All right, let's go ahead and let's try the M882 through the chest. See what happens. M882 through the chest. Three, two, uh, go hot on the camera. Fire. Okay. Okay, that was really cool because uh, once we fired into it, you could see like the blood seeping behind. <laughs> Put him down like a dog with AIDS. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it went straight through. Funny enough, I, it looks like I missed the rib right there. Great shot, Mike, right? Fucking suck. Um, 
went straight through and dude it came straight out it came and it uh just around right through there so m882 that's what we're expecting let's find where that exit loop yep right there mike if you want to come in take a look at that right there so you can see it just smoked straight through that guy and it slipped between all the ribs and this guy he hella dead dude and that can be important because you think about it these guys are going to have clothing on and stuff is it the most effective round most certainly not now is it going to smoke through whatever they have on yes is it a good round for carry probably not because you have a lot of over penetration there's typically someone beyond whoever you're shooting so something to think about next up we have horny critical defense Mike. what hornady critical defense so i said we'll see how it goes um the critical duty is probably a little bit better but uh this is what we have so we'll try it out as you can see it's a hollow point with a little bit of polymer in there and uh we'll see how it performs i'm interested All right, let's go. I think it's gonna go straight through. We're shooting the gut. I think it's gonna expand. I think we're gonna see serious damage this time. Micah? Uh, it's got a polymer tip, so we'll probably just give him cancer. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can, it's good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you can see the difference in the size of the wound channel. So is it Gross. Why is the blood blue? Halo. <laughs> okay, come in here, take a look at this. You can see the size of the expansion on that compared to the M882. That's very interesting. I, I really did not think there'd be that much of a difference between um, the two rounds, especially through the gut, you know? There's a very uh, serious chance that this is a wound you would have to go to the hospital for. Absolutely. Dude, no way. Come here. We have our two rounds from the M882 that went through. Yeah. This one did not exit. Right. That is not what I expected. I'm trying to check here to see if this round actually went through. Doctor. <sighs> well, looks like we're gonna perform a little surgery here. Oh, that is disgusting. That is, this is, right this is, <laughs> I feel like this is like, you know when Abraham Lincoln got shot in the head and they're like probing the metal into his brain trying to find the round? What the fuck is that guy? I don't know. Point is, it's doing more damage. That's why I feel like I'm... I like this kind of Come on. Oh, that's just a piece Jesus. of condom. That's just a piece of condom. Uh, you know what? Here's what I want to do with this one. We're going to come back to this after we shoot the um, spear into this and that way we'll cut both rounds out. We'll shoot the next one in the chest and then we'll cut this guy open because I want to start damaging it until we fire our other rounds. That, does that sound good, Micah? Yeah, yeah. Everyone was talking hard shit on the horny and uh, it did great. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay. we'll do the next round in uh, the chest and we'll get predictions. We're going to set up really quick. Chest shot, horny, critical <laughs> defense. Kelly. Kevin's not looking too good. Don't call, don't, don't name him. Kevin's not gonna look too good. Don't name him. Micah. Uh, honestly, dude, I don't think Kev's gonna look very good. All right, here we go. <laughs> Looks like we hit the sternum. I'm interested to see what happens. Oh no. Look at that. Okay, so that 100% cracked the sternum right there. And the question is, Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Good. Very interesting. Same thing. It didn't exit out through, but I'm almost positive. See, that's, that's what's tough. You want more ballistic dummies to do like an individual round test of every part of the dummy. But the fact of the matter is, these are like $2,000 per dummy. So we just don't have the money to do that. But um, I'm interested to see... <laughs> Yeah, are those Altoids? Yeah, you guys want one? Yeah, actually. Kevin? Thank you. Kevin is not going to have one. Stop naming them, dude. Um, okay, I want to do the other shots with the spear and then go ahead and cut the sky open at that point because I want to see what happens. What do, you what do you guys think? That's a good call. Wait, okay, so we'll do the two shots and we'll check it out. All right, let's go. Well, let's take a look really quick so you can see it. So this has been a law enforcement standard for a long time. 
It's just a very well constructed hollow point oh, from that Spear. Oh, nasty. Yeah, these are very nasty rounds. Okay. No, he's done. Oh yeah, he's done. But they're also uh, higher speed, higher pressure. They're pretty amazing. I mean, you think it's gonna go out the back? You know, that's what my that's my question because it w was the horny underpowered, and that's why I couldn't get through. You know, will this punch straight through? If our other three rounds punch straight through, does that mean that the horny critical defense was underpowered? Or, and, and does it mean the gold dot is overpowered? Oh. Only one way to find out. All right, high speed up and fire. Yo, nice, very nice. Wow, hold on, come look, look at that expansion. Holy shit, do you see that compared to the critical from Horny <laughs> Hornity? Look at that, you see the wings coming out yeah, from the expansion? Dude. That's crazy, there's dude. Like, oh, there's like five of them. They just like fan out. Do you see that? Yeah, that's nuts. Yo, come here. I think the Horny is underpowered because we oh, still, yeah. Yep. yeah. We had a fragment. Dude, I think because this dummy is so thin, I think the horny, the hornity was actually underpowered. What do you think? Uh, yeah, but is the gold dot overpowered? Here, come here, come take a look. So you can see on the back here where the exit was right there. And I'm not sure if that's just one piece. We'll find out in a second when we cut the sky open and take a look at all this. Let's go ahead and let's do the chest shot and let's get a, uh, a final autopsy on this guy. Spear, gold dot into the chest. Fire. Look at that though. That expansion, those wings coming off when it enters the ballistic gelatin. Yeah, it, it that is that is perfect. nasty, dude. So that went straight through the rib right there. Do you see that? Wow. Nothing out the back. No, but I see the round. I can 100% see the round right there. Looks like you oh, can yeah, see it. it is. Can we get the exposure up? Yeah. Yeah, dude, there it is. So you can see that. So I think it's gonna be time to take this guy down and start uh, doing an autopsy on him. All right, let's get him down. We wanna take a second also to thank Helicon Techs for my flannel. Okay, first one, let's go ahead and let's cut open and let's find out where that round went for the, uh, the Hornady critical defense right there. So make your initial incision. Are you watching? You're gonna have to learn this. Okay. Uh, that was a good incision. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay. So we can see the wound channel right here. You see that from the Hornady? Okay, I'm trying to find out yeah, where it stopped. Is that a condom? That's a condom. <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had to dissect a stomach with multiple condoms in it. So as you can see, they like to get stuck right behind the belly button, the belly button stop there. Yo, I got it, man. No All right. Way. Let's see it. Oh. Looks like there's a couple fragments and petals right here. Is that the Palmer tip right there too? Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we have a couple. So it looks like it stopped at the spine and it didn't go through. I wonder how that mushroom compares to the other ones we're gonna find. There. That's a really good question right there. So here's our first one. This is, here's the base of the bolt right there. And then there's a tip on the Hornady critical defense right there. Very interesting, good expansion. Looks good, looks like it sheared some of the petals off as well. Stopped on the spine. Um, I would say that's more shot placement. Um, I think perhaps it would have gone through otherwise. The spear missed the spine uh, on the right side, and so uh, hence we didn't see it. There's another one so with the pedals. Did do pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it did good. Uh, it didn't expand though, like it didn't expand like the uh, spear did. So we can say that for it. So with that being said, speaking of which, let's get into the chest. I can see a piece. Oh, yeah, you can see the polymer right here. Here's the polymer tip, right there. Here's a piece of the jacket. It definitely fragmented as soon as it hit right there. And I could see, yeah, it looks like that really rose petaled out. 
You can see all the different fragments from that spear round, excuse me, the Hornady round as it came through. And it looks like it traveled just sharp. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. Just short of the lungs right here. So here is a piece of the spear. Wow, you could see, so it sheared in half, and you could see how good those petals look on it. And that was what we were seeing as far as its entrance. Like it really did uh, just blossom beautifully. Wow, yeah. that is really cool. And it looks like the other piece sheared off into the ribs right here. Um, overall, I'm gonna say that between the rounds we've seen so far, 100% the spear um, was a better round, I would say. Um, Spear has been used for a long time. Uh, it's been used as war ammo. It's been used as a, a law enforcement type ammo and defensive ammunition and clearly is pretty good. So with that being said, we've dissected with this dummy. We have Federal HST as well as Norma MHP. I'm really interested to see how these perform. Uh, the Norma has been noted to be a pretty good performer. So yeah, me, me as well. Science. Cool. Next up, we have the Federal HST right here see it is a nasty looking round well proven everybody knows how good it is kelly how's it gonna do kelly's on his phone dude what, what the fuck are you doing kelly on? next kelly, like... ruin it. it's gonna tear that stuff like, oh, <laughs> micah uh i don't know dude stop <laughs> i don't know okay slow-mo hot go Fire. oh Yeah, that went through 100%, dude. Oh my God. Okay, let's take a look off that expansion. So we're seeing, look at that, look at those petals, the same thing. Same like the gold dot. Just yeah. like the gold dot, man. I, I think that's a. You can see it, it's a little shiny. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good hallmark of what we're seeing some, for some really good defensive ammunition. Ah, uh, dude, that, do you want to come over to the back here? That went straight through, straight up fractured part of the rib, excuse me, part of the spine on the way out and just exited straight into the target right there. That was nasty right there. Hella nasty. That that guy's dead, dude. Super dead. Yeah, hella dead. Is that final final thought? No, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, he's dead for sure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put up a new target here at the back, um, cause this one's getting a little torn up and uh, retry the shot in the chest and uh, see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, Federal HST through the chest. Let's try it. I'm gonna shoot right to the left of the sternum to see what it does. Okay, high speed is hot. Fire. Dude. It didn't go out, right? Hold, hold up. No, it did. A fragment oh, came out. Fragment. Look at that. Yeah, fragment came out and it spattered pieces of the guy. Look, you can see at the back here. Look at that. You can still see the petals, how they're like, how they're rotating through the body as they exit. That is incredible. Micah, come look at this. Look at the amount of expansion on impact there. Oh, that's immediate. Wow. That is crazy. That was quicker. Dare I say that was a little quicker <sighs> than the gold dot. Oh, it completely, look at that. Cracked all it, the way to the street. The fragment, the pedal, cracked and fragmented two ribs right there on the way in. Like that didn't slow it down at all. That was, oh, yeah. it also cracked the sternum oh, yeah, at the same time. Yo. Okay, so to be clear, we are sponsored by Norma. Um, we're gonna do our best not to be, you know, biased or anything like that. But here are the MHPs. They have been noted to be pretty good. I'm interested though, because the Federal and Spear are noted to be so good out of a nine millimeter. So I, mean, the best. I can't really see them being better. Uh, we'll see. Fire. Okay, so we have the tiniest entrance wound, even compared even compared to the uh, yeah, the Hornady. I mean, you can see a tiny little bit of feather, like yeah, right there and there and there. But compared but not to not like that big. Compared know? to the Hornady. No. Yeah. Interesting, and it did not. Charlie, my squire in medical science, has discovered what happened. Charlie, please. So, the bullet took a frontal path next to the belly button, somewhere where it hit in the front. Yep. And then it actually hit the spine, diverted just a just a little tad bit, just a scotch. Let's try it again. Wake me up 
Can't wake up. Hit him with the shrimp. Wake me up. Are you gonna do the chorus? Wake me up inside. Kelly just like <laughs> Kelly's just here. <laughs> Kelly doesn't partake. I'm Fair. Trying. <laughs> I bet you sound like a motherfucking angel, dog. <laughs> okay, so we have fired the uh, the first MHP. We're gonna do another into the gut. I'm gonna try about center and just to the right of the uh, the federal, and we'll see what happens. Norm ammunition. Okay, perfect. I just want to say I'm a, I'm a good shot right there. Check that out. Right to the right of where the Federal was. So it entered. And it did not exit. I think it hit this guy right here. You could see a crack in it. Really? Diagonal? So the, yeah. So it looks like the MHP seems to be deflecting a ton, like just doing crazy shit in a body. Interesting. Yo, homeboy gonna end up in a wheelchair for show. All right, let's do a chest shot with this guy. I'm interested to see what happens. Okay. MHP in the chest. Right. Woo! That is a good one. Oh. That is good. Look at all that. Still breathing. He's breathing. This bubble's coming out. Her name Bubble. So just like, so with the, we have the uh, Federal right here, which was awesome. A pedal came out. This looks like the entire round came out. It was still, looks like coming apart right here. Is that another piece of the pedal that came out or that wasn't from the- uh, No, that's from that last shot. Yeah. Last yeah. Interesting. I wonder, on the ground, it go again. I wonder. Cause I can see a dent right here in the cardboard. Yeah. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, it's a dent. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So first off, this guy, hella dead. Um, that 100% cracked straight through the rib and had enough ass to come out. Well, at the same time, expanding a decent amount. Um, we're gonna do this one more time. And I know it shows, seems like we're doing favoritism, but I really wanna see this round come out the other side and see what happens on high speed. Let's do it. We're gonna see if we can get the exit. Kelly hit record. Let's do this. Look at that. Look at the MHPs that goes in it like, you see it like corkscrewing? It's yeah, like moving back and forth. Dude, I don't think that it didn't come out. Okay, so we fired all the rounds. Um, I'm gonna say 100% that I think the uh, Spear Gold Dots were, I, I would say, Charlie, what do you think? 1000% agree with you, but not just to agree with you. Thank you, Charlie. Squire. Um, you know, so when it comes down to it, obviously nine millimeter has the capacity to kill. The biggest thing with 9mm is, of course, you need to make good hits, just like any other round. So training is where it's going to matter. Now, that being said, here at Grantham, we like violence. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and use a Desert Eagle uh, 50 Action Express with a 300 grain round from Horny, excuse me, Hornady, and uh, we'll try how that works. Oh! It still exited. It went all the way through. Well, of course. Come look at this. It still went all the way through. Put your put your finger in that hole right now. Get two fingers in there. I'm three fingers in this hole right now, dude. Oh, yo! It still came out the side. Raise the wood right here. Yo. I mean, I guess if we're talking about the preferred round, 50 it is. Yeah, it went straight through. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video was nine millimeter. And here's the thing that we've learned. Training matters. Charlie, training, what are you doing? Uh, whenever you can and get out there and learn slash teach others when you get the opportunity. Tons of great places to get training. Bear Solutions, Haley Strategic. Get out there and train because without it, nothing else matters. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We have way more coming. Hopefully you stay tuned for it. We've got nothing else for you. Final thing for you, Charlie. A little bit of dad advice for our people. Uh, dad advice? Yeah. Is, uh, you, know, you know, high speed, low drag. It's really, uh, 
Low drag, high snatch, dude. 